What's going on everybody, it is the one and only Q here from Retro Q Gaming and here we are on January 17th with the promised announcement regarding the updates, what's changing, what's staying the same and all in relation to our YouTube channel here. So, what are we going to do? Well, first off, I'm going to explain what the updates and changes and whatnot are and then we're going to talk a bit about them, the reasons and all etc. further on down the line later on in this video. So, first things first, I'm going to be opening a new... I guess you call it a new side project, a new side series, or whatever way you want to look at it here. And that one is going to be something I never expected to do, or never planned on doing in any way, shape, or form, unless I was completely forced to. We will be opening the Twitch channel for consistent game streaming. Now, I know what everyone's thinking, and let's explain on here. So, what we're going to do is I will still be making the regular YouTube videos like I do here on YouTube. I will still be making the usual podcast and I will be still streaming modern games like I was just streaming Gears of War 4, for example, on the YouTube channel directly on YouTube here. I'll still be streaming Gears of War 5 directly here on YouTube as that is upcoming. And I have one or two other games that I want to get in around and streamed and all as well. Modern games, which will all be done right here on the channel. So essentially, modern videos or pre-recorded and rendered videos podcasts, streaming modern games will all still be done directly here on YouTube consistently. There should be no change in relation to all of that on here. But what I'm going to do is on the other side, over on Twitch, I'm going to start streaming exclusively retro games. I'm only going to consider and only going to factor in retro games for what I'm doing over there. Now, I don't know yet how viable it will be to record that as well and upload it on here at the same time. There's going to be a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit of trial and error to see how it all goes. And then we can iron out the kinks and whatnot as we go. So, first off, let's go into the bit beyond it. And we have all of that here. So, the initial plan is starting on the 25th of January 2021. I'll have at least one kind of major big-ish stream every single day, or at least almost every day. Again, we worry about the kinks and the scheduling and see how it all goes as, as we do, and we'll go from there. But there will definitely be one significant stream at least six times a week over on there when it comes to retro games and whatnot too. Maybe eventually I get it to the point where I can do two big ones a day, take a break somewhere in between, or maybe just do one super long extended one, but we'll see how it goes anyway. We'll play it by ear and we'll figure out where it, uh, it goes and how we how we get there essentially now you may be wondering what's the deal you know, where, where is this coming from why the change and whatnot too well let's look at it this way it's one simple big thing and it's the big thing that's been affecting everybody for about a year now close to a year at least anyway uh, essentially it's it's covid now as everyone has known there has been big effects on that mental health depression not not saying for myself but just in general uh, it's a big consideration when you're talking about lockdowns, isolation, lack of social situations, etc, etc. Just all of that kind of thing in general. It can weigh heavy on everyone. And I know I talked about it about six months or so back during the summer when I recorded my 1000 subscriber thank you video and appreciation video. So in that I did mention that just to be real it was getting a little bit more difficult for me to cope with the whole thing and that was why I increased streaming here on YouTube over the last couple of months. The streaming, the interacting with everyone, the talking, hanging out, shooting shit with everyone, that all just completely blocked out the majority of the outside world for me. And I could just completely forget all of that stuff that has been weighing down on everyone, myself included. As the months and months went by, I did mention several times more that it had been getting progressively worse and worse and worse, to the point where here in Ireland at least anyway, we've had two small minor lockdowns and we've had three major lockdowns. The third one, which we're actually about halfway through right now. And eventually I just said, fuck it, I cannot do this. So about two weeks ago, I quit my job. And yes, luckily, don't worry about me. I'm sorted on that front. I have a big safety net. I have significant savings that I can live on for a long period of time while I get myself in order. And hell, the world and the country gets itself in order. But at least this gives me some significant me time, if you will. It's the stuff I need, the break 
I need for just mental health reasons, for, for me time and me health reasons. Now, that's the big one and the big thing I want to do. So that is why it's, it's very important to me to, to take this step and to take these actions. So granted, officially, I'm finished work today, even though it's the weekend, so I'm off. But officially, I... Thanks, motorbike dude driving by. Officially, um, I am out of work as of tomorrow. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So that's why I was originally planning on starting tomorrow. But I have to delay it by a week because I still have two more games that come to mind that I want to get streamed. They're both modern games. I want to do them here on the YouTube channel just because it keeps it real and it keeps it even just the way I wanted it. And I can get some sort of semblance of order, if you will, in the whole thing and uh, scheduling and whatnot too. Anyway, that's a little bit rambly on there. So we might be wondering, Q, why, why Twitch and that? Well, there's two main reasons why I want to do it over there. So number one is from what I've seen over there, I don't use Twitch much. Um, I primarily only use it for people that I know that stream and you kind of get introduced by through them by a couple of other people, a couple of other games, a couple of other whatever it is to the communities and all over there. And frankly, when it comes to live streaming retro games, at least anyway, the community over there seems to be really good or at least so much better compared to what you have here on YouTube. Of course, YouTube has significant amounts of retro game content, usually uploaded videos. You do still have some decent streams and all on there as well. But it seems like a better better vibe and a better community in relation to retro stuff over on Twitch. The other one is channel points. Now, it's important to note that channel points are completely free and no one has to do anything in order to get them except just be watching the stream and just chatting and whatnot too. There's no other requirements for them. Channel points are something that seem like a really good idea that unfortunately YouTube has no equivalent of. So because I'm going to be streaming so many different retro games and so many different old school games across all different platforms and all, for people who are there, for people who stick around, for people who watch, for people who watch consistently, whatever it is, it it's like a, a small miniature way to give back essentially. Because Everyone has that one game, that the one game you really love, your favorite game. Maybe it's a, a nice obscure game that no one knows about or that most people haven't played or maybe most people haven't even heard about or know about it but never gave it a chance. And using channel points, one of the, the benefits is that I can use them to get people to recommend and nominate a game for me to play. And that would get them the experience of someone who is is experiencing this game for the first time, who's being exposed to it for the first time, and see what someone who maybe likes a similar genre, a similar game, or whatever it is, and see how different people feel about it. I know that's something I'm big of, because I'm always trying to get everyone to play the original SNES Secret of Mana, my favorite game of all time. So you get the idea. So that's the important stuff, and the important one out of it. Like I said, this is all still going to be kind of a learning process and all as well. It's going to be starting on the 25th of January, just over a week from now. Again, pending nothing big or major happens. But yeah, you get the idea. Feel free to jump into the description box down below. There's a Twitch link in there. You can follow me on there, and we'll go from all that setup, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to bounce out of here. I just want to thank everyone for watching. I'm not going to give my usual intro. I'm appreciative of everyone who sticks around, everyone who only wants to stay here on YouTube for specific stuff, everyone who watches the live streams, anyone who comes over and hangs out in the Twitch streams and all as well. I'm super appreciative of all of that, no matter what your role in it is at all. I can't wait to see how it all goes forward, how we learn about it, and how everything morphs and changes and evolves and all going forward. And yeah, thankfully, hopefully... You guys stick with me for all of this, and, well, I really need it at this point for myself. Peace out, everyone.